every video I sit back and I do what I just did where I ask the universe, God, whatever, to give me the ideas, to give me the words and the strength to say what I want to say. To, I always say, this is your channel. Like, show, like, give me the words for your channel. Say what you want to say. And this is what comes out. I always sacrifice every video I make to God. And like you know, if you watch my videos, I call the universe or the source or whatever, I call it God. And I always sacrifice everything I do for God. Every word that comes out of my mouth isn't my words. It's God's words. And I'm not saying I'm God, which I get. Tech, I am, but so are you. We're all God, right? And, but I knowingly allow God to speak through me. I knowingly allow myself, I don't control anything. I allow life to dictate what goes on. I allow God, the universe to, to take me in every direction. And that's what I preach in this whole channel. It's just allowing life to take over. Stop like letting go of the illusion of control. And that's what I do in every video. And it works. I get comments all the time about how I changed people's lives or how I made them cry because they just needed this message at the time. And I really think this is what everybody needs to do. Everybody needs to just let life work through them. They need, they need to realize that they are not this small self. They are fueled by the bigger self. They are fueled by God, by the source, by the Atma, by, by, by Brahman. They are fueled by the spirit, the the energy, the essence, whatever that, what I call God, the thing, it's just this life. They, they are this life. I want people to realize that they are part, they are all part of this thing we call life. They are all God. They are all, there's just one thing and, and they are that. And once you realize that, once you feel that in your heart, once you, once you experience it, you realize you can't fail. You can't lose. You can't, you can't do anything wrong because even when you make a mistake, you realize it's not a mistake. There's no mistakes. You realize that mistakes are an illusion. You realize that everything happens for a reason. You realize what all these religions and philosophies are trying to say, but they can't because it's, it's so hard to put into words. You realize that you are God. You realize that you are the universe. You realize that you can do anything that you want to do. Anything. You can, and if you don't want to do anything, you can do that too. You can relax and walk around you can smell the roses when you, if you if you want to. You can clean the house or not clean the house. There's no rule book. There's nothing telling you you have to do something. But the things that you have to do just spontaneously arise. You clean the house not because you feel guilty and you have to clean the house. You clean the house because that's naturally what happens, which makes it so much more fun to actually do. Life is nothing. And nothing is everything. And you are everything. And you are nothing. You can do whatever you want. And some of you, you'll hear this message and be like, oh, I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to go rob and steal and everything. But like, no, because you don't truly want to do that. What you truly want to do is be wealthy. What you truly want to do is be kind or affect others. You want the attention. You want stuff. 
right? And the way that your ego is trying to get it is by robbing and stealing. But what you really need to do, what you truly, you don't truly want to go to the jail. You don't truly want to have be on the run. And if you do, then do it. Don't do it. Like, you shouldn't do it. But if you do it, what's going to happen is you're going to realize that you created negativity. Your ego created negativity. And not, not, not positivity. What you need to do is just keep moving. And just allow life to go on. Try sitting still and doing nothing. You can't do nothing. You can sit still and be like, I'm going to sit still for 10 hours, right? And I guarantee you, if you sat still for three, eventually the thought's going to pop into your head. All right, I've sat still for enough. I'm going to go eat, get something to eat. Did you do that? No. First, the feeling arose that you were bored or you don't want to sit. And then that caused the thought. And then the thought caused you to move, right? And, but the source was God. The source was was this energy that controls everything. You are not in control. You will never be in control. The fact that you're anxious is because you think you can be in control and you need control. But I guarantee you, I promise, if you let go, if you let go of the control, you will swim. If you jump into the deep end, you will swim. And if you don't swim, you'll drown. And when you drown, you'll go on to the next phase and then you'll learn to swim there. No matter what, you're going to keep moving. It's never going to stop. Life moves whether you move with it or not. It does it on its own. You eat when you're hungry. You sleep when you're tired. You drink when you're thirsty. You find partners when you're lonely. But you don't create those things you don't create the loneliness the loneliness comes and that creates everything else and that loneliness comes from the source it comes from god it comes from the real thing the one the only real thing the one thing that we are all we all are but nobody is You can do whatever you want. You, but what you need to do is let go. Surrender. Let life take you. Let life move you in the direction that it needs to go. When you stop fighting, when you stop desiring to be happy, that is when you will truly be happy. When you let go. When you stop trying to force because forcing takes a lot of work. Forcing causes a lot of pain. But when you tr stop trying to force, you realize all you needed to do was gently push. You didn't have to do anything. You could just sit back and it comes to you. Like the spider, he, she creates the web, right? And the, the flies come to it. The, the, the bugs come to it and then it eats right and you can do that you just let go letting go is creating the web and the flies will come the food will come the water will come you won't have to control it because your body will naturally make you do these things surrender and you will live life you will truly live you'll realize that you will be like the guy on the boat with a martini in his hand, or on the raft in the pool with a martini in his hand. He just floats and he lives life. And when he wants to get out, he gets out. And when he wants to eat, he eats and he keeps sipping. This is life. This is love. This is you. Right, Guru? Out.